Welcome back and this is part one of my rational functions videos. This one is all just about defining what a rational function is. So we're gonna look at what makes a rational function and then also I'll end with a quiz where I'll give you 20 questions and you can just tell me whether you think they're rational functions or not. Let's dive in. Okay, so let's firstly define what a rational function is. It is when we have a quotient and we have one polynomial divided by another polynomial. So what would that look like? Well, a polynomial is uh, some co uh, coefficient, let's say it's three, and then we have a power of x, so we could have x to the four. What we, what we must have is this power needs to be an integer. It cannot be a fraction. And then what we can do, we can have subsequent uh, coefficients, um, let's say x squared minus one, and this is our example of a polynomial. It doesn't have to have all powers of x going down to zero. So here we have x to the zero. We can leapfrog certain values of x, but what's most important is that they are all sort of integers uh, in this powers of x. And this one is actually zero. Um, it doesn't matter about the leading coefficient, that can be positive or negative, but this is an example of a polynomial. Let's just jump down here. Let me give you two more examples. Uh, here, this is a rational function because the numerator is a polynomial. Notice uh, coefficients and positive powers on these values of x. This one is allowed, this is just x to the zero. On the denominator, this is a polynomial, it's a very simple one, it's a leading power of x to the one minus one. The second question down here, this is a rational function because the numerator is a polynomial, believe it or not, it's five x to the zero. So it is a polynomial and it is divided by x squared plus one, which is also a polynomial. So therefore, once we have one polynomial divided by another, this makes a rational function. Okay, so here I'm just going to point out um, functions that are not rational. And that is because on this first one here, the numerator is x to the half. We said that that must be an integer. And so therefore that is not a rational function. Um, number two here, this is not a rational function because we have an exponent on the numerator and not a polynomial. The third one down here, this is not a rational function because it is a trig function because we have this sine x um, so it's not known to be a rational function. Um, it doesn't matter if one of the values on the numerator is a polynomial, but the, uh, because the, the one on the denominator here is not. This is x plus one to the half. That is not allowed, that is not a polynomial, so therefore is not a rational function. Okay, let's end this video by you telling me whether you think this is a rational function or not. The first one is a rational function. The second one is not. The third one is rational. The fourth one is not. Okay, let's try this again with these four questions. Which are rational functions? The first one is a rational function. It, the polynomial on the numerator is just one x to the zero divided by the denominator, which is a polynomial. The second one is not a rational function because the denominator is x squared minus one to the half. The third one is a rational function. It is all divided by one, x to the zero, which is a simple polynomial, but it is a rational function. The third one is also a rational function because both numerator and denominator are polynomials. Let's try this again with these four questions. Which are rational functions? The numerator is not a polynomial, therefore this is not a rational function. The second one down, both numerator and denominator are polynomials, so this is rational. Third one is not rational because of this natural log. The last one here is a rational function because both numerator and denominator are polynomials, the numerator being a very simple six x to the zero. Which are rational functions? The first one is not a rational function. That is because of this conflicting modulus x. This is actually a piecewise function. The, new, the denominator is not a polynomial, therefore this is not a rational function. Numerator and denominator are both polynomials, so therefore this is a rational function. The last one involves a trig function, therefore this is not a rational function.
Okay, let me know in the comments below how you did. Do you want more examples of rational functions? Be sure to check out part two of the video where I go through some of the features of what a rational function looks like.